you want to go get Duncan today? Sure. No, must, must you make your plans right now? Like, can you do that at the ACM? Bree, can you, can you take us to Duncan? Yeah, of course. Thanks. You're the we best. have practice in like 10 minutes though. Alright, alright. Sounds good. Yeah. Wait, did you actually know the answer? Did you hear about Betty? She was using my stuff. She shouldn't even that. use our, our stuff. She's not good. Come on, guys. Settle down. Settle down. No, she's using my stuff. Just because she's mean to you doesn't mean you have to use her back. You have to be the bigger person. I don't want to be the bigger person. Come on, it's the right thing to do, girl. prepare ourselves for moving forward in life and like how to set up our life for college. Sure. Like for college. Do you know what you want to study in college? Medical field. Medical field? Yeah. Medical field as yeah. well. I would recommend to help you prepare for your future, classes to take in high school would be biology, chemistry, physics, anatomy, physiology. Those would be all great classes to take to help you prepare for your future. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. What's wrong? We feel in our English terms. So, Me too. We'll do better next time. Don't let the past define your future. Let it go. 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 No, no, no. Center the ball. Center on the tee. Center on the tee. Yeah, okay. Head down the ball. <laughs> better? Better? Okay. Well, okay. That's what I needed. Center the ball. Swing quickly. Better? Good. Good. Direct contact with eyes on the ball. Head, head down. That's very good. Uh, let's see what else you're doing. One more time. Oh, oh yeah. it's a beautiful swing. Now I just need to make contact. Got this, good. Uh, good. 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 Okay. All right. Ready? Okay. Okay. okay, let's go. Try again. It's okay. There's <laughs> always room for improvement. Oh, yeah, guys. All right, let's try again. Okay. You keep your front foot, keep on moving back. Move your foot to right here. Yep, about right there. Okay. okay. Head down on the ball. Swing, swing quickly. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. If you can improve, you can improve your swing. Create a guide that will help you survive school. So, so I got like five really big things that are super, super important for you guys in like going forward, getting through high school, and you can even carry some of these things to college, guys, all right? So, first off and foremost, my first one is develop good relationships with faculty. My person, when I was here, my go-to person was Mrs. Anderson. And having that literally got me this job. If I didn't have that relationship with her, I would not even be here right now. Because it came to a point where the school needed people that cared about it, and I was still around, I still had that connection to the school, and it led to me finding a career that I actually really enjoyed at a time when I couldn't find a career that I really enjoyed. So having that, one of the biggest things that you can have, right? It's a relationship with someone who's in a field, who's a part of the school already, 
And when you go to college, you're going to want that as well, because that's going to lead to more job opportunities. It's going to lead to more internships. It's going to lead to you guys being able to succeed at the things that you really want to do. So develop good relationships with your faculty members. They will help you get to the next level, and they might even give you a job opportunity. And sometimes they're pretty cool jobs. All right, that's number one. Number two. Number two. So, we need to try new things, okay? We need to try. <laughs> well, yes, not those new things, not those new things, but try new activities. Try, try to expand beyond your comfort zone, right? High school is a place where you might feel a lot of pressure to not break out of your comfort zone, but it's actually one of the best times to try things before you get to college. Because when you try new things, when you try a subject that you think you're not as good at, when you take an elective in something that you aren't sure if you're interested in it long term, it could actually lead you to discovering a passion that you've always like, looked for. So trying new things is the best way of, of expanding your own comfort zone. For example, I learned to play drums when I was here. I was the worst guitar player in our, in our, in our guitar club we had here when I was a freshman. And so I started playing drums and then that led to band forming and then it turned into this whole thing where I was like, oh yeah, I can play live, I can play music. Music is something that I can do. So having that, having that confidence and trying new things, learning that I'm good at other skills, really kind of gave me perspective and showed me like, hey, you can do this. So go do it, try other things, learn new instruments. Right? Go teach yourself piano on the piano in the media center, right? Or, or the auditorium, right? Any of the pianos we have around the school. I used it when I was a student. That was what my study was. It was piano time. Mm -hmm. You can. Well, I had I, I was a senior when I was doing most of it. So I was in I was in the lounge. But alright, next one. Next one. So we need to advocate for ourselves and our own interests. So, advocate for yourself, right? Your own interests, the things that are best for you. That's what you need to think about. Have your own priorities at the center of what you do, right? It's, it's all well and good to be thinking about other people, but if you don't take care of yourself first, it's hard to take care of other people. So advocating for yourself, whether it's something like mental health, whether it's something like grades-wise, if you got something great that you didn't necessarily think was fair, respectfully go and talk to that teacher, right? And it ties into developing a good relationship, right? You just need to talk to people, communicate. That's the biggest thing of advocating for yourself, is actually communicate. I did the opposite of it. I sat in the back of the classroom, and I shut up, and I did my work, and that's all I did. But I didn't advocate for myself. So I didn't get to do the fun things that I wanted to do necessarily because I didn't see it as important. But those priorities have changed in our schools since we've got on independent, and now you can advocate yourself. This is a place where you can advocate. All right, number four. Number four. Find your people. This is going to be hard to do. There's a lot of drama in high school. There's a lot of things where people will get really upset over tiny, tiny, tiny little social things. Finding your people is the best way to avoid. And that doesn't mean that your, your friendships will be free of conflict, free of drama. They certainly won't. But finding your people is the best thing that I did while I was here. Yeah? Do you think it's going to be hard to find the right people? Do you think it's going to take a while? It does take a while. It does take a while. For me, it took me almost all of my freshman year. I, I struggled to like really make like, like a, a best friend my freshman year because I already had a best friend that came with me from my previous middle school. So I kind of just stood, stayed with them, stayed in that group, stood still, didn't really like branch out. But my sophomore year is when I really started to like hang out with other people in my class. And it was when my parents started to like allow me a little more freedom to get out of the house, to start getting my license and stuff like that. So then I, I, I kind of had the ability to find my people. And those people I still talk to today. I was in one of their weddings earlier this year. I'm going to be in one of their weddings later this year, too. And it's just one of those things where it's like, those are relationships that you'll have for the rest of your life if you find your people. 
it's hard to know who is who is your people, and sometimes it comes with trial and error. But don't be afraid, right, to try new things. Don't be afraid to try new friends out, right? These all work together. And then finally, high school sucks. Make the most of it. It sucks. Won't lie. It's a hard time. You're growing and changing mentally, more or less. And you're going to struggle with mental health. You're going to struggle with drama. You're going to feel like you have too much work. You're going to feel like you can't do enough work to get caught up. You're going to feel like there's no way that if you study, no matter how hard you study, you're never going to pass that chem test. Or no matter how hard you study, you're never going to be able to, you know, write that essay in class or whatever, whatever it might be. You're going to feel like you're not going to make it, but you will. It's going to suck, but that's part of life. It's ups and it's downs. It's give and it's take. So, high school does suck, but you do have to make the most of it, right? Take the suck, action. So, yeah guys, high school sucks. You do have to make the most of it. That's the give and the take. You gotta, you gotta deal with the bad stuff now to get that reward later, right? It's all about the ups and the downs, and the more that you put up with here, the more resilient you will be later on in life. You'll be able to understand, withstand and understand everything that comes at you in college, and because I had this attitude, college was easy. College was so easy. And it was, it was easy for me because I did harder stuff in high school and I put up with more in high school, and I challenged myself in high school. I didn't necessarily advocate for myself, but I did develop good relationships with my faculty. I did try some new things. I did find my new people, or my people. And I did, you know, have this attitude of, yeah, high school's tough, but you can make it. And if you'll be better for it, you'll be stronger for it. Thank you, thank you. No problem. Wait. Yeah. That's our whole presentation. presentation right there. What's wrong? We failed our English test. <laughs>